Well, hello there, and this is a very, very important video. Because this idea just came out of the blue to me. Or maybe it was sent to me by a higher being. I don't know. But the idea is massive. And I believe this idea will solve the energy crisis of the whole world. Yes, that's how mind-blowing this is. But I don't want any monetary things for it, just as long as I mention my name. And I all know you're dying to hear this idea of mine. Okay, so we have solar power. These are panels everywhere. But they're not very efficient, are they? And they cost a lot to make those panels. And they don't really draw in much energy. And if they do, they have to be blanketed everywhere. So not very really successful at the moment. Water power is quite successful, like hydroelectric. But there's just not enough of them, is there? And the planet is very greedy for energy and it needs more. But my idea, there is an unlimited supply of energy that is just waiting to be harnessed. So let's take a closer look at the wind turbine. These are massive structures and they cost a fortune to make and they use a lot of energy to make them. And their lifespan isn't all that great, so they have to make another one. And of course it relies on air movement, hot air say, that moves quickly to create the power. And of course unbeknowing they kill thousands of birds. And once again you need many of them which don't look very nice, do they? Yes I know, I know, I'm getting to it. Be patient. But there is an unlimited supply of hot air that we have never even thought of. We all know Femons like to talk continuously mostly and it's mostly all hot air all we need to do is find a way to harness that and we will have enough energy to run our planet and more i mean they could be used to fill hot air balloons as well and we all know and i've been with a femon also that just one femon through her lifetime could probably run a small town with the amount of hot air coming out of her mouth so there it is. Femons mostly take from society and from the planet. This is their big chance to give something back. I mean, think about it. Femon talk shows could power their own TV stations whilst they're talking. I know, it's a fantastic idea and it would work. But I would like to hear from you people out there where they could be used as well. Some of your ideas. Say, like, how many femons would you need in a warship engine room to keep that boat running along? I mean, finally, a usage for the femon, other than having a baby and taking their clothes off. Ah, oh, I'm going to have a beer. I know it's the middle of the day, but I'm going to have a beer anyway, because this is such a mind-blowing idea of mine. I feel all giddy. Take it easy.